All right, yeah. This is another uh, PayPal from Johans, and to be fair, I said because I was a little bit disappointed. Although the last one turned out to be fire, and a whole new rabbit hole of pretenders. But um, when I saw it was Johans, the last few that Johans has sent it has been LCD sound system. So that's what I was kind of got my hopes up for. But, yeah, it was the Pretenders, which, like I say, did turn out to be fire as well. But then I said that, and they followed it up with LCD sound system. This one is North American Scum. Later. Now, North America... Let's see. Anyway, let's go. This kind of puzzled me at first by the name. But because I'm thinking of it in the context, because I'm, do you know what I mean, listening to a Jesse James book, I was thinking in the context of the South versus the North. And to be honest, although the North, I suppose the South has a kind of the, the romantic rebellion side to them, but they do love some slavery. 
And to be fair, and that's that's what I was thinking. I was thinking North America, but I'm thinking in context of the Civil War. But yeah, although it was a very kind of, um, I mean, not of. It's kind of a. What's the word? Um. Well, quite a mean look at yourself. That's not the way I was thinking of it. But do you know what I mean? Very self-deprecating, that's it. Self-deprecating, that's what I was thinking. But then on the other side of it, I do have to say that as an Englishman, it's quite nice to have a country that's hated more than us. <laughs> it's quite pleasant. Do you know what I mean? It's like that we don't walk in places now and we're the most hated person. So thanks for that, North America. But I liked, like, people think we're English, but we're not. Um, yeah. Or, like, to be honest, I should do a lyrics video to this as well, because this seems like another one, same as the one we did the other day about Dear God from XTC. I want to do a lyrics video. Uh, lyrics video to this year he's actually a great poet that guy i don't actually know his name yet but he's actually like all of his performances and he and the way he kind of delivers his things it, again it's yeah he's great he's great and just his words and his like the concept for this song was just a great concept Although, like I say, it was a, it was a bit of a harsher look at America than I think necessary. A bit like with us, we get a harsh rap, but yeah, it's like from listening to that book. To be honest, I think America gets a hard rap for the slavery thing because it seemed a lot, a lot of white Americans died, and it seems to be even in the South, the majority was against slavery like the way america's kind of painted now as if they everybody was just like but it weren't like that do you know what i mean like more than i'd say 75 percent of the country was against it all the time <clears throat> and then the, really the people that were into it was because they was dependent on it that's what their job was but listening to that book I do think that America gets a bit of a hard rap for that uh, I think America gets a bit of a hard rap but that's why this song like when he said um, about the Canadian thing because that's what people say that about Canada no that's like America and it is it's hard like even f for me although although I've got good from the Canadian things we have done and doing so much norm, although norm is hard to tell, but I can tell. Um, because there's little kind of, there's giveaways to the Canadian thing, but it is hard, but then it's hard for like, I see Americans uh, think that people are from Australia are English. They think it's an English accent, whereas to us, like, <clears throat> we can 100%, I can 100% hear the difference. But, yeah. Yeah. It, like I say, it was a very kind of mean look uh, and of of not just your country, but of yourself in your country. But it was great words. It was great lyrics. Again, same as the Dear God one. That's why I want to do a lyrics video because I just like things. Like, I like things which take a I don't know. I just like thing like that Dear God thing. I like the the angle that took. I like to hear people's angles on things and different angles to what I'd think or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And I think that he is definitely one like that. He has a way and this. T it was a fun, punky tune, but there kind of was a bit of a serious thing to it. But a great tune. A great tune. And again, the band is flawless. 
But I think like the band, at least in my thing, in my kind of view, I think they're so perfect that you kind of vote because it's dancey music too. You can actually overlook the fact that the band are flawless, live, flawless, like, yeah. But because of the kind of sound and they've got the keyboard, like, do you know what I mean? The drummer, if you had just closed your eyes, you wouldn't think it was live drums. Same with Portishead, to be fair. They're another one like that. You would not think it is. And then the fact that it is just gives it all such a, yeah, magical hum the magical human touch. But yeah, I thought that was a tune. And great words, if it was a little mean. Yeah. No, and I was thinking, I'm, I think I know that. I was thinking, do I know that, or is there just another song that has North? Because even when he was doing, like, in between the lines of the verse, North America, I was thinking, I know that. I know that. What is that? But I don't, again, I don't know this song, but that's familiar. So whether it's in something or was used in something or I've heard it on the radio and just kind of, do you know what I mean? It went into my subconscious conscience. But yeah, another great tune from them. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet. 